Diddy dum. Diddy D. Setting up on YouTube. Now I need to get going on Facebook. Hey, Baba Luba. Balap Bam Boom. Oh my god, it's so embarrassing. I'm all alone. Joyelson is here. Wesley is here. Hola. How you doing? Obrigado. Ibrahim is here. Hernan is here. I got a question. Jeez, man. Relax. You are not alone. What's your question, Hernan? Spit it out. Uh, you'll never walk alone, coach. Ah, yes. Edmilson, hello, my professor. Do not, do not call me professor. You can call me coach. Uh, Teresa says, you are not alone. Thank you. David says, hi, coach. Hi, David. Silvio says, what's, what's teacher? What's up, teacher? I'm Silvio from Brazil. Thanks for joining me, Silvio. Uh, David, glad to watch you. <laughs> You're the best. Junior says, hello. Diana says, hey, coach. Hey, I don't. I don't. Describe your live video. L M E live. Go live. Switch the screen. Switch. There we go. Now we're live on Facebook. Oof. Uh, coach, LOL. Coach or bus? <laughs> I prefer coach. Ahmed, hello. Hi, Ahmed. Ibrahim, I love you, coach. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. And you? Uh, hello, says Edmilson. Maria says hello. How are you doing? How are you guys doing? Thank you for joining me today, today, today. Thank you for joining me today. It sounds like a Disney song. Coach Howard, you look great. Thank you. Thank you, loser. I feel great. I feel great. Silly humor. Yep, I know. That's what I do. Asener, Asener. Hello from Brazil. Hey. Uh, getting a message from... Miguel. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I have to tell my Miguel. Miguel is my operations manager. Hey, coach. How's the new project? Okay. So we have very good news. Nuria from Costa Rica. CRR from Poland. Hi, guys. Welcome. So we have really good news, really exciting news. As I told you, I want to start an internet radio show, internet radio, meaning not only LME, I mean, what we do is like internet radio, but also with music. Yeah, like really cool, you know, songs, songs that everybody uh, likes. Hi, Junior. Um, and so far, so good. So BMI, which is a huge company in America that does copyright for music, has approved. They took my money. ASCAP, which is another big uh, company in America, has approved. They took my money. Actually, I don't know if they've approved, but they took my money. So we will probably, hopefully, start uh, next week. I hope. I hope. And I'm really excited. I'm really excited to get started, and I'm going to need your help. Uh, I want, you know, request songs. I want stories. I want letters. I want letters asking about English, letters asking about advice, letters asking about America. I want lots of letters, you guys. You guys need to send me letters, and I'm really excited uh, to, to, uh, to start this. So we have a website. I needed to create a new website. The law is really, you have to be really careful. So I am, I'm being really careful. The licenses are so expensive. So I'm gonna need your help. 
But anyway, uh, so the new site is LME Today, LME Today, and it's not working, but I bought the site, and hopefully within a week, uh, we'll be up and running. So I'm really excited. Uh, what should I do? I got water in my keyboard. Exactly. Send me that. I want a letter. Not now. And I'll answer those questions. Hi from Morocco, Mustafa. Cardo says, what's up, man? I just told you, Cardo. Uh, Aldona says, it's a good idea. Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really excited about that. Uh, music is always good. Absolutely. Uh, we don't have a story today. LME Today. No, LME Today. Dot com lme today dot com uh, hi Karen how you doing uh, Karen's sentences are so funny uh, we have a vocabulary challenge and Karen does a great job Karen probably this week or for this lesson I'll choose you Pribien uh, preview how do you say it in Russia I forgot uh, I forgot you can count on me thanks Wesley do we have a story today yeah I, we didn't send a newsletter yesterday. We did not send a newsletter because the person who helps me is super busy. And it's, it's just it's too busy. We will send out a newsletter. Um, yeah, don't worry. We, we are going to. Some people are sad. I didn't get the newsletter. Don't worry. Um, we, we will send out a newsletter with pictures, of course. Uh, but the news story, the news is so easy that uh, I'm going to have a news story today and it's going to be super easy so you guys don't have to worry don't get too stressed out about it uh, in fact I'm going to go ahead and get started on the news pretty quickly here I'm still getting set up Privet, yes I know Privet, Privet is that pronunciation okay? Privet, Privet I hope it's okay Claudio says hello uh, hi Claudio Ibrahim, as much as I can, it would be a pleasure to help you. That's great. Hi, Lucas. Lucas, Karen's son, Lucas, is watching. How you doing, Lucas? How you doing? Are you happy today? Oh, Lucas, what time is it? You need to go to sleep. Aren't you tired? If I were you and I was in the UK, I would be sleeping. Should I sing you a song? Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques. Dormez-vous, dormez-vous. That is all I know. That is all I know. Sleep real good. Sleep real good. Uh, so nice. Can I have some advice from you? Anybody. You, can, you guys can ask advice on anything. I know nothing. I don't know anything. But I will give you advice. Uh, Aisa says... Finally, I can catch you live from Algeria. That's great. Sama, hi, coach. How you doing? Uh, Yunus, hello from Turkey. Hi. I like Seinfeld. We study Seinfeld. Seinfeld is excellent. Uh, everything is okay. What time is it there? Um, for me, it is 3.25 p.m. 3.25 p.m. Hi, Fanny. Lucas is a fan. That's so cool. Uh... Can you advise about the same TV series like Seinfeld? Uh, that's a good question. Let me ask that answer that question later because uh, that's a really good question and I do have an answer. Hello from Espana. How you doing? Como estas? Let's talk about North Korea. Sure. Kim Jong. Ugh. Ugh. Kim Jong. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. I have thunder outside. It's gonna rain. It's really scary. I love it. Okay, so I have a news story today. And uh, before I start the news story, let me read the vocabulary words to you guys. And uh, it's pretty easy. So here we go. Listen. Pricey. 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 Extravagance. 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 A treat. A treat, a treat, sweet, 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 not S W E E T. Ba 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 will run you, something will run you, 
will run you 10 grand. 10 grand. 10 grand. Capital. 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 All the way. All the way. All the way. Fully booked. Fully booked. Fully booked. Those are the words. I will spell them and give you definitions a little bit later. It's probably pretty simple for you guys. Let me go ahead and uh, start the story, okay? So here we go. LME News. <clears throat> We all know Japan sells some pricey water, but if you want to travel by train and true extravagance, Tokyo has a treat for you. Actually, I'm sorry. I'm going to start over. Sorry. <laughs> because it's it's live, but you know, who cares? You guys are seeing how it works. Okay, here we go. Starting over. Uh, my face is red. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. My face is red. Um, starting over. <clears throat> we all know Japan sells some pricey water. And if you want to travel by train and true extravagance, Tokyo has a treat for you too. The train suite Shikishima will run you 10 grand for a four day trip from the capital city all the way to the northern island of Hokkaido. Don't plan on reserving a ticket for any time soon, though. It's already fully booked through March of next year. That's it. It's too easy. The story is super simple. Last week, we talked about water and expensive bottled water and there was some water in Japan that's like four hundred dollars really crazy but Japan is not only the home to really expensive wata it's also the home to really expensive trains crazy expensive okay so listen to the story again we all know all of us all the LME listeners know that Japan sells some pricey water pricey P R I C E Y pricey expensive yeah we studied that last week all of us know that Japan they sell some really expensive water it's crazy it's crazy and if you want to travel oh I love to travel do you like to travel I love to travel by train Ooh, yeah traveling by train is nice in true extravagance in real luxury extravagance e x T R A V A G A N C E extravagance that means luxury luxury in true extravagance in complete luxury if you want to travel by train in true extravagance Tokyo Oh, Tokyo, the capital city of Japan. Tokyo has a treat for you. Tokyo has something special for you. Japan has pricey water, and Tokyo has something special for you, too. Listen again to the sentence. We all know Japan sells some pricey water. And if you want to travel by train in true extravagance, Tokyo has a treat for you, too. The train suite Shikishima. That's the name of the train. It's not the S train. It's not the, you know, Amtrak train. It's the train suite Shikishima. Train, T-R-A-I-N, suite, S-U-I-T-E, suite, Shikishima, this is Japanese, S-H-I-K-I-S-H-I-M-A, 
I don't know what it means, but it's the name of the train. The train, Sweet Shikishima, will run you, run you, will run you, will cost you. How much? How much will this train cost? Ten grand. What? Ten grand. G-R-A-N-D. Ten grand. Grand means a thousand. Ten thousand dollars. I'm giving you American news. It's in dollars. Ten thousand dollars for a four-day trip. Four days on the train. Ten thousand dollars. Oh my God. So where does the train go? From, from Tokyo. But instead of Tokyo, from the capital city. The capital city of Japan is Tokyo. The capital city of the United States is Washington, D.C. The capital city of London is, whoops, of the U.K. is London. Yeah, okay, we'll talk about that in the future. So anyway, uh, from the capital city of Tokyo all the way. And when we say all the way in this situation, it means a long way, 830 kilometers, all the way to, to where? The Northern Island. So we got the main long island of Japan, and then there's another island, the Northern Island of Hokkaido. There's another island, Sapporo. But anyway, Hokkaido, oh, Hokkaido, wow, that's 830 miles, kilometers. That train goes all the way there, four days, $10,000. Are you crazy? But don't plan on reserving a ticket. You know, if you want to go on the train, you have to call, hi, is this the train suite Shikishima? Yeah, I'd like some tickets. Great. I'd like to reserve a ticket for May 6th. Oh, you have no tickets? Okay. I'd like to reserve a ticket for June 6th. No tickets? Okay. Uh, pfft, October 6th? No tickets? Well, what the heck? Don't plan on reserving a ticket for any time soon. Though, why? It the train suite Shikishima is already fully booked, sold out. All the tickets are gone. $10,000 gone. The, the train is fully booked through March of next year. I'd like to make a reservation for the train suite Shikishima. Uh, December 6th? No. March 6th? No. April next year? Yes? Okay, yes, please. April 6th, 2018, please. $10,000? Here you go. Here's my credit card. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. Reserve. Yes, reserve is the right word. To reserve a room, to reserve a seat. That's the idea. Reserving a ticket in this case. So this is a pretty crazy, expensive train. Would you guys, if you had the money... Would you like to reserve a ticket on this train? My goodness. Let's look at those words again. Pricey, spelling, get ready. Spelling for pricey, P-R-I-C-E-Y, price plus Y, means expensive. Extravagance, extravagance, E-X-T-R-A-V-A-G-A-N-C-E. Extravagance means luxury luxury very 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 expensive a treat a treat t r e a t means something special something special i have a treat for you my cats oh my cats are hiding because of the storm but if my cats were not hiding one of my cats minty she's the brown cat she loves coffee so I could have, I have a treat for you, Minty. Here's some coffee. And she would drink it. She loves coffee. Anyway, a treat, something special, something special. I have a treat for you. I have something special for you. Sweet. Yeah, not S-W-E-E-T, 
Same pronunciation, but the spelling is different. S-U-I-T-E. S-U-I-T-E. Sweet. So what is a suite? So if we are talking about hotels, maybe a luxury ship, and we say suite, the suite is a very large bedroom and a living room at the hotel. Normally when we go to a hotel, it's just a room and a bed, maybe a chair, maybe a desk, maybe a TV, but nothing. Nothing special. A suite has a bedroom and a living room, and sometimes even more. So it's a very expensive, very nice room at a hotel. And that's the idea on this train. Every room is basically a suite. Very expensive, very luxurious. So a suite. Will run you. Something will run you. So if you wanted to buy my coffee, one cup of Coach Shane's coffee will run you three dollars. That's not too bad. One cup of Coach Shane's coffee will cost you three dollars. Yeah, that's easy. Ten grand, G R A N D. Ten grand, ten thousand. And we're talking, in this case, cost. So American news, American dollars, ten thousand dollars. Ah, wow, that's a lot. Capital, C-A-P-I-T-A-L, capital. Now be careful, uh, C-A-P-I-T-O-L. These words are spelt the same. I'm sorry, <laughs> sound the same. C-A-P-I-T-A-L or O-L. Uh-huh, one of them refers to money. One of them refers to assets. One of them refers to a city. And CA, I'm just double checking because I would hate to make a mistake. Uh, C-A-P-A-T, C-A-P-I-T-A-L is the capital city the central city where the government is of a country. And I saw somebody said uh, San Jose is the capital of Costa Rica. Is that right? Cool. San Jose. San Jose. We have San Jose in California too. Uh, the capital of California. What is the capital of California? Who can tell me the capital of California? Lots of people think it's Los Angeles. It's not. Is it Sacramento? What's the capital of California. The capital of California is Sacramento. Yes, I was right. I'm such a genius. What's the capital of your country? I want to hear. Tell me the capital of your country. The capital of Venezuela. Caracas? I'm guessing Caracas. Uh, somebody saying, would you spell it again? Spell what? Tell me what to spell. You need to tell me what I need to spell. What's the capital of your country? Damascus is the capital of Syria, right? I'm a genius. Brasilia is the capital of Brazil. Bogota is the capital of Colombia. I'm pretty smart. Amman is Jordan, the capital of Jordan. I'm a genius. The capital of Ukraine is Kiev. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kiev, of course. I know that. Give me the city. Tehran is the capital of Iran. Raleigh, the capital of North Dakota. Algiers, the capital of Algeria. Sao Paulo, the capital of Brazil. Come on. Warsaw, the capital of Poland. Come on, guys. Make it tough. Make it difficult. Riyadh, the capital of Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Too simple. Rome, the capital of Italy. New Delhi, the capital of India. <laughs> this is nothing. Come on. <laughs> Cairo, the capital of Egypt. The capital of Italy, Italy, Roma. Taipei, the capital of Taiwan. Buenos Aires, the capital of Argentina. <gasps> the capital of Brasilia is Brasilia, not Sao Paulo. That's right. Ankara, the capital of Turkey. Panama, Panama City. Santiago, Chile. Oslo, Finland. Ankara, uh, uh, Turkey. Moscow, Russia. Australia is 
Canberra. I'm eating Milka chocolate. An Ankara. Ankara, isn't it Turkey? <laughs> the world is burning up. Iraq, I'm guessing Iraq is... Uh... <laughs> oh my God. It's in the American news all the time. Uh... Oh jeez. <laughs> Suddenly my mind went blank. Paris is France. Peru. La Cruz. La Cruz? Oslo is Norway, not Finland. Belarus, the capital is, I know that too, I don't know. Lima, Peru, thank you, Lima, Peru. Budapest, Romania, is that right? Morocco, <sighs> Algiers. Baghdad, thank you, Baghdad, yes. Oh, man, Ooh, I'm getting hot. Ooh. Yeah, too much presser. Minsk, yes, Minsk. I met a man from Minsk. Venezuela. Oh, I can't remember. Now, now, see, now my brain is dead. It's it's turned off, you guys. Turned off. Sorry. So, moving on, moving on. <laughs> all the way. I walked all the way home. All the way. If I say all the way, it means like a really long distance. I walked to my house. Not too far. I walked all the way to my house, emphasizing a long distance, a long distance. And finally, fully booked, F-U-L-L-Y, fully booked, B-O-O-K-E-D, booked. Same thing, fully reserved, fully reserved. There's no space. There's no vacancy. Sold out. That's the idea. So these are the key words. Let me read the words one more time. You guys can repeat after me, pricey, extravagance, a treat, sweet, will run you, ten grand, capital, all the way, fully booked. Those are the words. I'm going to read the story twice. The first time, nice and slow so you could really visualize it get a good feel the second time really fast like the American radio you ready here we go we all know Japan sells some pricey water and if you want to travel by train in true extravagance Tokyo has a treat for you too. The train sweet Shikishima will run you 10 grand for a four day trip from the capital city all the way to the northern island of Hokkaido. Don't plan on reserving a ticket for any time soon, though. It's already fully booked through March of next year. We all know Japan sells some pricey water. And if you want to travel by train in true extravagance, Tokyo has a treat for you too. The train suite Shikishima will run you 10 grand for a four day trip from the capital city all the way to the northern island of Hokkaido. Don't plan on reserving a ticket for any time soon, though. It's already fully booked through March of next year. <laughs> yep. That's right. P-R-I-C-E-Y, not P-R-I-C-Y. Yes. P-R-I-C-E-Y. Pricey meaning extravagant. Coach Shane, uh, you could read audiobooks. Yes, I'd like that. I like audiobooks. Audiobooks are cool. <laughs> so who, if you had the money, who would go on this train? Who would go on the train? I want to narrow. I want to know. Oh, wait. That's, I want to rock. 
bum ba da ba bum bum ba ba bum. I want to rock. From now, from now on, same thing, same thing. On gives that nuance of continuousness. Delray says me. Delray, really? $10,000 for a four-day train ride? Yeah? Marat says no way. Uh, Manar says not me. Yeah. I don't know if you have the money, right? You just have, you have so much money. I got so much money. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe. U-G-H. Ugh. Ugh. Mock mood. Sydney's here, too. I saw Sydney, too. U-G-H, it depends. Sometimes if we're, if we're lifting something heavy, ugh, is also U-G-H. Is also U-G-H. Oh, oh, man. Oh, is also U-G-H. So U-G-H can be pronounced differently depending on the situation. Oh, Fanny, now that's a good point, Fanny. Four days on a train. Mm, that's a long time. Four days on a train. Yeah. But I think, Fanny, I believe that the train sometimes stops here and there and they have a little tour, you know, restaurants, I'm guessing. I don't know. I don't know. I want to rock. She's in the park or she's at the park. Both are possible. If we say, that's a good question, actually. She's in the park. She's at the park. That can be different. If somebody is in the park, the park is a large area, and somewhere inside the park, she is. She's at the park. Could be the same thing, but it could also be like at the entrance or the parking lot. When we say she's in the park, we do not think of the entrance. We do not think of the parking lot. We actually mean inside. When she's at the park, it could be at the entrance. It could be uh, in the parking lot. It could be there too. So uh, yeah, it, it actually could be different. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ah, there's lots of funny people in this world. If I have the money, I'm going to get married. Yeah, love is a four-letter word. If I had ten grand, I would do it definitely, Nuria says. <laughs> what tense do Americans use after by the time? Ah, by the time was past tense so by the time I was seven I moved to a different city by the time I was 12 I was smoking 20 cigarettes a day <laughs> that's a joke sorry yeah it's a joke come on be nice Felix from Paris how you doing Felix I'll see all the world if I have money. If I had money, I would visit everywhere in the world. Yeah, why not? Yeah, sounds nice. So many beautiful things to see in the world. The world's a lovely, beautiful place. We just need peace. How about on Christmas, at Christmas, for Christmas, over Christmas? Join my class waiting on today. On Christmas, the day. At Christmas, the period. For Christmas, the period. Over Christmas, the period. Hey, I always watch your live shows. Good job. Thanks, Marcello. Thank you very much. Take us around your house. How much money do you have? I can't. It's a webcam. It's a PC. This is my house. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Nina says, hi, my best coach. Nice to see you again. How you doing? Uh, what about verbs other than be verbs? Uh, by the way, Tom called you. By the way, Tom called 
you in the past. Tom called you. By the way, I hate zucchini. I like zucchini. Chicago or not, north of Chicago. Chicago is a bad town. Very dangerous. 200 people shot this year. Pretty good. Hey, coach, why do we say I'm not used to driving on the left instead of I'm not used to drive on? Driving is a gerund. We use it as a uh, a gerund so to driving I like driving I like to drive as possible I like driving is also possible a treat another mining could be kind of therapy mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you're the best at Egypt <laughs> hello from Russia do you like Twin Peaks Twin Peaks the old TV show ah somebody was asking about Seinfeld okay let me talk about American TV shows Seinfeld, all my students, uh, I tell my students, you have to buy Seinfeld. Season 7 is what we're studying. Seinfeld Season 7, that's what we study. My students get the DVD, and that way we can study it. Seinfeld is absolutely, uh, probably the best TV show to study for English listening and we use that why because it it's a show about everything every type of situation you can imagine is in Seinfeld if you watch a different sitcom um, it's it's always focused on personal relationships or family relationships boyfriend girlfriend uh, medical situations, uh, police situations, uh, you know, mysterious situations, or too much action, too much romance. And to be honest, for ESL students, for most ESL students, it's impractical. It's interesting, it's fun, but it's not useful. Um, Seinfeld is absolutely, absolutely useful. It is the most useful of American TV shows, so I highly recommend it. Seinfeld, once again, S-E-I-N-F-E-L-D. Great show. It's still the best. Still the best show. My house is my castle. Mi casa, castle casa. Mi casa su casa. <laughs> I'll buy a cake at the store or I'll buy a cake from the store. Both are possible. Uh, not from the bakery, but from the store, if you're comparing. Uh, when I'm at the store, I'll buy a cake. Uh, I'm not an English teacher. I'm an English coach. Hey, uh, hi, Maury. I'm your big brother. Can you spell the name? Yeah, spelled it. Uh, what do you know about Morocco? Uh, you know, not much. That's why learning English is a very important thing. Uh, if you are able to learn English, then what you should do is start writing stories and creating videos and podcasts about your country, telling people about your country, about the places, about the people, about the food, about the tradition, about the beautiful things. And that way we learn about your country. So, yeah, even Korea. I lived in Korea uh, for 20 years. The other day, I was talking to a guy at the gas station. And, uh, and I was talking, I said, yeah, I lived in Korea for 20 years. And the guy said, Korea, oh boy, the jungle, huh? What? There's no jungle in Korea. People don't know. So, uh, yeah, so learning English, by learning English, you're able to uh, educate the world quickly about your country. What do you think about Friends? Friends is a great show, but it's almost all about relationships. 
Okay, are you going to have five American roommates? Probably not. Then it's not very useful. Uh, and I used to teach friends too in class. I would teach friends. Friends is fun. The stories, you know, funny. Chandler and Joey and Phoebe and Rachel and Monica and Ross, they're all great. So it's fun. It's interesting. But it's not practical for ESL students. It's not as practical as Seinfeld. <laughs> what about ALF? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Alf is great. <laughs> if anybody knows about Alf, yeah, after Seinfeld, definitely Alf. Alf is the best. And so is there something similar to Seinfeld? Yes, that's the original question. Is there something similar to Seinfeld? In my opinion, no. Um, and if anybody has an idea or a suggestion, I'm very interested in hearing it. I would love to see something similar, but I haven't. What about the office? Yeah, if you work at an office and have a crazy boss and weird coworkers, yes, it's possible. But do you work in an American office? Probably not. Therefore, it's not. It's a great show. I love The Office. Office is great. But um, the practicality of the show is low. Not, not that high. Say ING words. ING, like I tell my students, Yash, ING has three pronunciations. ING in and un with a schwa and typically Americans will pronounce it with an un with a schwa as an ESL student I always recommend ing perfect pronunciation we teach that in perf and we talk about that in DDM too your video is inverted ah is this picture inverted really wow Blech. That means my face is inverted. This is my right. Like maybe not. Interesting. On Facebook, it says I'm inverted. That's crazy. Thanks for the answer. My my pleasure. If friends is great. How I Met Your Mother. Same thing. Um, it's too family oriented. Do you have an American family? Well, if you don't, it's not practical. It's a great show. It's a lovely show but not practical. Say good evening to Brazil, please. Good evening, Brazil. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm from Brazil, and this is the first time I'm here. Well, George, I'm very happy to have you. It's okay. Yeah, on YouTube, it seems to be fine. Oh, oh, I'm not inverted on Facebook, too. Okay. So whoever that was, uh, it looks like Oleg. Oleg. Yeah. Oleg, something's strange with your situation. The DVD name was inverted. The DVD name. Is the DVD name still inverted? I know on YouTube it looks like Seinfeld. YouTube is no problem. Murder, she wrote. Are you a detective? Are you a murderer? Then it's not practical. It's great. It's interesting, but not practical. Gustavo asks, where do you live? Here. <laughs> no, I live in America. I live in America, man! You seem like Heisenberg from Breaking Bad. Could you see, say my name, say my name, say my name, say my name! I never watched Breaking Bad. That's a good show. I understand it's popular. I know all the English teacher, and I figured out that you are the best. Of course. Oh, and now he took it away. Mohammed took away the message. I'm not the best anymore. <laughs> oh, hello from Italy. Luigi. How you doing, Luigi? Nice to have you. Uh, it is. Ah, uh, yes. So the words are inverted. Yeah, the words are inverted. Mm -hmm. 
Alberto, hey, what's up? How you doing, Alberto? What kind of music will you put on your radios? I'll tell you. Breathing. Breathing. Prison break. If you're a prisoner, it's useful. If not, uh, useless. Great show. Great show, but useless. What kind of music? So I'll tell you. Uh, right now, I have a Macklemore song. Don McLean, Keith Urban, Queen, Israel Kamakawioli, Annie Lennox, Hank Snow, uh, Steelers Wheel, Thomas Werner, and CCR. All different types of music. Anything is fine. Uh, and I'll be looking forward to request songs too. It's going to be excited. Once you said only the third generation can speak pop, uh, properly. That's right. I do believe that. Join my class, Lucas. Hi, Marlene. Sydney says, oh, Marlene, Marlene and Sydney. Marlene and Sydney are both from Brazil, and they're both in my class. Sydney, tell Lucas to join. Murder, 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 murder. Ah, uh, the thing that I hate, there's no linking, Marat, the thing, the thing, the thing that I hate, 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 I would say there's no linking. The words are stuck together, but no linking. Abdallah, hi. Abdallah, what's your question? I missed your question. Oh, Mohammed, don't worry about the grammar. Good morning to Rihad. Good morning. Get up and do your prayers. <laughs> didn't didn't so didn't uh, I, I the flat T no it's a D but like I tell my students the flat T is very similar to a D so L A T T E R everybody spell it spell it L A T T E R and L A D D E R when we say it fast they sound the same. Ladder, 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 ladder. Let her go. In this case, we have how many H's? We have seven H's. He, him, he, her, him, his, had, has, have. Those seven H's can be canceled. Let, in that case, her, if we cancel the H, the T links into her. It becomes a flat T, and we say, let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Join my classes, guys. Pudding. Pudding. American pronunciation. Pudding. Pudding. Just like P-U-T-T-I-N-G. Pudding. Pudding. When we say it fast, indistinguishable. Indistinguishable. Country music is good. Yeah, oh yeah. The songs, the lyrics, the story, Desde. I agree. I will be doing country. How can I join your class? Uh, that's such a good question. I'm not giving you my... Yeah, you can sign up for free lessons. You guys need to sign up for free lessons. Add an input. Uh, text title. We'll do this one. Bum, 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 bum. Coach Shane. Description. www.letsmasterenglish.com slash free. Uh, go here. And now I can... Okay, there you go. So uh, on YouTube, you can see the website. It's Let's Master English. L-E-T-S. M A S T E R E N G L I S H Let's Master English dot com slash free. Sign up for the free lessons. You'll also get my email. And then after you get the free lessons, we'll send you a link so that you can join. And we'll give you a discount too. That's pretty cool. Did yeah, if we say it slow, Yash, did and as possible. Yo, dog. Sup. I can't do it. 
What's up? What's up, yo, dog? Cry and weep. I did that on uh, on E cubed. Cry and weep. Cry is to cry. General weep is when somebody dies. Great, great, great sadness. The BJ's. Yes, Pink Floyd. Absolutely. Go down to Sao Paulo. It's too hot. I don't do Skype. I do live lessons every week. Today I did a live lessons. We use a different software. Skype is a phone. I use a different software. It's better than Skype. Uh, the letter R at the beginning of the word is difficult. I know. Yeah, Louise, it is really difficult. Really difficult. Don't let your tongue touch anything. Security, safety. Security, safety. Very similar words. Hi, coach. You're the best. Be blessed. Oh, thank you very much. You too. Shane, I'm a teacher of English, and I showed your videos to my students. This is Alessandra. Uh, they enjoyed. Can you do some intervention for them during my lessons? Yeah, if, if, if you have a question, Alessandra, from your students, uh, let me know and I'll try and do something for you, okay? Do you speak any other language? I speak Korean. What's the difference between right and right up? Mm, could be a lot of differences. To write up somebody usually means to write something bad about somebody. And to write simply means to write. Phrasal verbs are dangerous, guys. Not tomorrow, but next week. Ah, Leeway, good job. Thank you. You rock. You are a rock? No, you rock. How do you say the R in the middle of the word? Same as er. So, for example, uh, mirror, uh, horror, horror, rr, rr, er, er, er. The sound is er, er. Horror, horror, mirror, mirror. Very difficult. Word, world. Very tough. Abdallah, I did not see your question again. Where is your question? I'm going back. I have more vocabulary, but my biggest problem is pronouncing. How can I improve my pronunciation? Abdallah, www.dictionary.com. They have a speaker. Listen to the speaker and pronounce it. Okay? Repeat after that. Also, Abdallah, www.letsmasterenglish.com slash free. Sign up for my free lessons. First of all, I send you eight listening lessons where I also teach pronunciation. Then I send you three speaking lessons for free, everybody. These are free. They're full lessons for free, and we talk about pronunciation. Get those lessons. If you can, join us. Join us. My neighbor is from Korea. They make me crazy. <laughs> The, they shovel the snow even while it's snowing. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. It's good and fun to watch you. Thank you, Edvaldo. Accurately. Accurate. Accurately. Accurately. Hi, from Belgium. How long does it take to get rid of a French or Spanish accent? Uh, it depends on your age. The younger you are, the faster you can get rid of it. The older you are, the more difficult. What's your best experience uh, teaching? I'll tell you. The best experience I have as a teacher is when I see my student do this. When I see... Boom! Understanding. That's the greatest in the world. How can we send you our voice recording so we can correct your mistake, your mistakes? Mm, I'm a busy guy, Nina, so I don't do that for people. I do it for my students. Uh, however, if you go to my website, letsmasterenglish.com, we have a, a speak pipe. And you can leave a message there. 
I will be using that in the future radio show. I'm 74. I don't have a chance. <laughs> I didn't say that. Uh, but it's going to take some time, Des Day. <laughs> Accurately round. It's the same R. American R's are the same. I'm 45, so I'm screwed. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, uh, you're not screwed. Uh, <laughs> but it's not easy. I'm being honest, okay? Other teachers are going to say, in 60 days, you can get rid of your accent. Bullshit. Uh, some people, yes. Very rare. Very rare. Schedule. I did that last week. American pronunciation, schedule. Schedule, schedule, schedule. How many hours do I sleep? Uh, last night I went to bed about 10, 30, 11, and I woke up at 6, 6, 30, so about eight hours. Pretty good. Memory, 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 memory. Okay, Abdallah, the link. Somebody on Facebook, please write the link down for Abdallah. Uh, www.letsmasterenglish.com slash free. Prohibition. But if we say it fast, prohibition. We cancel the H. Prohibition is correct. Quickly, prohibition. Eric, hi, Eric. Uh, we, didn't, uh, we didn't send out the newsletter. The person who helps me is too busy. Probably tonight we'll send the newsletter. <laughs> Ramon. I don't know, Ramon. I don't know. I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> uh, greetings from Brazil. Good. Oh, boy. I don't know, Alexander. I don't know how to say that. I say Worcestershire. 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 <laughs> Oh, Joyleson, thank you very much, Joyleson. Thank you. Worcestershire. Memory. How is married? Ah, married said. Married. 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 Those three words, George, can sound the same. There, there, there. So T H E R E, T H E I R, the same. There. T H E Y, apostrophe R E, should be there there but typically we say there so there 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 could be anything thank you so much for the amazing oh max you're the best and max is great i learned so much from your class and now i'm in cali working look at that guys so max has been my student from the beginning max is my genius i love max uh max is now living in california working communicating freely easily uh, people are very impressed and wondered where I learned American pronunciation hey buddy uh, thanks a lot Max Max works hard though he does a great job Nonoka is it Nonoka I'm your student hi Nonoka George says thanks it is hard to say get rid of get rid of Get rid of, get rid of, get rid of. Yeah, those pronunciations are tough, I know. Though, thought, tough, through, thorough. Though, thought, tough, through, thorough. No guerra, no guerra, guerra, no guerra. I hope my pronunciation is okay. Nice to meet you. Yeah, it's a tough one, Worcestershire. Elaborate. Elaborate. So the dictionary, now this is why you guys don't use a dictionary for the pronunciation. Use the speaker for pronunciation. Uh, the dictionary will show you the syllables, elaborate, but the pronunciation, elaborate, elaborate, elaborate. Elaborate. 
Mm, yeah, speaking is tough. Speaking and chatting, like internet chatting, very different. Very different. Hey, Anastasia from Kiev. Nice to meet you. Hi, Samatar. Great. Three, three, three. Hi, Joel. It was pretty easy. Good. I'm 53. And today I wrote English exercises instead of my 25-year-old children. That's great. You're 53? I wouldn't have guessed that. Wow. The most difficult word to pronounce for English learners? World murderer. <laughs> Probably those two. World. Oh, another one. Yellow. Yellow, the Y. Yellow world murderer. Very tough. Three, tree, three, tree. Entrepreneur, entrepreneur, entrepreneur. Hi, from India. Cool. Somaliland, great. Nice to meet you from Somaliland. Could you suggest some English addresses? Which should I hold American pronunciation? I'm not sure of your question. Uh, you mean like the dictionary? Dictionary.com. Dictionary.com. Click on the speaker. It's good standard American pronunciation. I'm your older pupil or student, but I learned a lot, a, a lot from you. Oh, that Desdee, that's really nice. Uh, that's I really appreciate that. No eating, no drinking. Keep the noise levels low. Respect others and their space. What do you think? Where am I? Sound like at a university. Girl, yeah. Girl is tough. World, girl. For me is further, further, further. Difficult words to pronounce. Further, further. Okay, guys, I am out of here. Thank you so much for joining me. I will be back again to next week. <laughs> Not tomorrow, next week. How do you pronounce this shoe, this shoe, this shoe, these shoes, these shoes, these shoes? It's been bugging me for ages. Connected speech. Okay, so this S, shoe, SH, S and SH are similar sounds. Put them together. Focus on the second sound. These Z, shoes, SH, similar sounds. Focus on the second sounds. This shoe, these shoes. Married, round, same R, same R. Thank you. Subscribe. Thank you very much. Roxy from Ukraine. You're awesome, man. Love your humor. Uh, are you good at different English accents? So, so. Bye-bye from everybody. Thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate it. I'll be back again next week. And once again, our radio show is coming. We will send you a newsletter when it begins. So don't worry, you won't miss it. Thank you so much, guys. Have a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you next week. Have a fantastic week, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs> now I need to stop everything. YouTube, goodbye.